Hi, I'm Chio Ishikawa. I'm the Susan Brotman Deputy Director for Art and Curator of European Painting and Sculpture here at the Seattle Art Museum. And I'm here in our exhibition, Victorian Radicals, talking with Larry Kreisman, who is the longtime program director for Historic Seattle, and he is a real expert on the arts and crafts movement, particularly here in the Pacific Northwest. We're standing in front of a great textile by William Morris. Morris was exceptionally gifted in many fields, and he developed an industry that was appealing to a middle class that was just starting to move away from the really traditional British Victorian realism. And Morris was able to cultivate a design that focused on stylization and conventionalization of nature. What is it you like about living with arts and crafts? Are they easier to take care of? Are they more comfortable? Actually, comfort has never been the highest priority. <laughs> but I would say that what's different from buying a box at Ikea and assembling it yourself is that it has longevity going mm -hmm. for it. It's going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. One of the wonderful things about this exhibition is it has great paintings and great decorative arts. And we're standing in front of a work that actually combines the two in a single object. In the center is a painting by William Holman Hunt, who's one of the original Pre-Raphaelites, but I think it draws our attention because of this amazing frame. So this is really quite remarkable because I'm familiar with C.R. Ashby and the Guild of Handicraft, but I'd never seen this before. So it's a very interesting piece, and I imagine it was a one-off. It, it says it was designed by Hunt himself, yep. and then the Guild had been hired to do the work. So this piece is a real tour de force, but there's a smaller piece, a little box, that for me represents much more the aesthetic of the arts and crafts movement, going back a little bit to medieval design in strap work. And there's a patina to it, which is respecting the nature of the material and how it ages. The aesthetic movement was all about beauty. The arts and crafts movement was about beauty and utility. And that's what you see in walking through the galleries. Mm -hmm. 